As aspiring footballers, we all want to improve as much as possible, as fast as possible. And the solution for most players is simple. To work harder and harder and harder. However, in the process we tend to forget that to actually reap the benefits and to see the results of our training, it's equally important to balance our hard work with proper recovery routines. For a long while, my recovery was just guesswork and there was a constant battle between working too hard and resting too little, which in the end didn't give me the results that I wanted. But for the last three years, things have been different. Because back in 2021, I managed to find a way to quantify and measure my recovery, my sleep, and my overall training load so that I can actually find an optimal balance between my training and my recovery. That's why in today's video, I'll dive deeper into the details of football recovery, but also reveal one of the absolute best tools that you can use, even used by the likes of Cristiano Ronaldo, to take your football recovery to 100%. Let's begin. I recently made a video series on the channel where I discussed the importance of sleep, of your hydration, of your nutrition, and if you manage to nail those three down, you're well on your way to ensuring proper recovery routines. And by now, most of you who have followed the channel for a while know the importance of proper recovery strategies, and that it is very, very important. And for me, for a long time, I personally had a hard time to understand why it was so important and because of that I also struggled to be consistent with it because I didn't know exactly how these recovery strategies affected me as a footballer. I didn't know if I slept for six hours or if I slept for eight hours and how that affected my performance out on the field. I didn't know which foods would help me out the most in my recovery. And most of the time I either trained too much or too little because I didn't know what my optimal range of training volume and training intensity, what that was at the time. And that's why three years ago I decided that I wanted to do something to be able to improve my recovery and that's when I found out about the WHOOP. And I started using the WHOOP in 2021 and now it's 2024 and I've been using the WHOOP for over 1200 days. And that's why in today's video I really wanted to break down and discuss how you can use the WHOOP to improve your recovery and to take your game to the next level. This video is not sponsored by Whoop, I have not been in contact with them, I have not received any form of compensation or any directions of how to produce this video. I make this video simply because of the incredible value that I've managed to get from the Whoop. But before I go any further, I just wanted to show you what my idol, Cristiano Ronaldo, had to say about the Whoop, who he recently became a global ambassador for. I discovered Whoop uh, a few years ago. And to be honest, it's, for me, it's a tool that can help me. It's like to have a doctor in your wrist. And what Cristiano said about is like having your own personal doctor is a statement that I completely agree with. Because during the three years that I've had the Whoop, it has taught me an incredible amount of recovery in general, but even more important, what recovery strategies works the best for me. And if you have been following this channel for a while, you know how often I preach that there isn't really a one-size-fits-all solution to your problems. And that's why having something like the Whoop that can read your body data and give you actionable strategies on what you should do to improve your recovery, I think that is hugely valuable. But what does the Whoop actually do for you? What the Whoop does is that it stays on your wrist for 24-7. You never have to take it off, I just have this battery pack that you just slide onto it and then it charges. It stays there for the entirety of the day while you sleep, while you train, while you eat, while you go about your daily chores, and all the time it collects a bunch of important key statistics for your recovery. And these statistics include your HRV, which is short for your heart rate variability, and we'll talk more about that later, your resting heart rate, it tracks your sleep performance, the amount of restorative sleep that you're getting, your sleep consistency, your respiratory rate, your blood oxygen levels, and even your skin temperature. Then it takes all of these statistics and mesh them together to give you a recovery score, where you either can be in the red, 
the yellow or the green. This makes it seem a bit like a game where you always want to strive to get into the green. And how do you do that? Well, that's the best thing about the Whoop, because you can track different types of behaviors and habits and how these affect your overall recovery. To make it easier for you to understand of how to implement the Whoop into your daily life, I will walk you through a day in my life using the Whoop strap. So the first thing I do after I wake up is always check my recovery score and my sleep score. My recovery score tells me how recovered my body is compared to my overall baseline of recovery. And my sleep score primarily first tells me how much of the sleep that I should have got, how much of that did I get. For example, a 100% sleep score means that I got all of the sleep that I needed to get. And the Whoop knows this because it knows how well recovered you are and how much you have trained, which it understands by calculating your strain scores. And that's something we'll talk about later. But it takes all of these in mind and then it knows how many hours of sleep you need to get. If I've trained very hard, then naturally my sleep need will be a lot higher, so I need to sleep more to reach my sleep goal. Also, if I'm starting to get sick or my recovery has taken a hit and I'm down in the yellow or the red, then my sleep need naturally will also rise. Because of all of this, it makes it very easy and actionable for you to know which steps you need to take to reach your sleep goal. After checking my recovery and my sleep score, I usually use the journal feature. And the journal feature is probably the most valuable feature on the Whoop in my opinion. Because this allows me to track a bunch of activities and habits ranging from how many calories I consumed in a day, to how much water I drank, to if I got any sunlight in the morning, to if I slept in my own bed. It's incredibly detailed and you can tailor and customize it to your specific needs. And then at the end of every month, you get a monthly performance assessment. And this shows you if these habits improves or worsens your recovery. And then you know that, okay, maybe this habit is something I need to do more of because it seemed to improve my recovery. And this habit always worsens my recovery. So maybe I need to get rid of that in my life. And as you do this more and more, suddenly your recovery will start to go up and up and up. And because of that, as we know, your performance levels will also go up and up and up. And then I may go for an individual training session in the morning. And then the Whoop will automatically log that session as a football session because it knows that it's a football session because I've had those before. And then when I'm done with the session, I can see in the Whoop app how hard my body had to work. And this is also very interesting because the exact same session for me may result in a strain score of 15, but if you do it, maybe you get a strain score of 17 or 13, depending on how tough that session is for you individually. Recently, they also added a feature where you can ask questions to the Whoop AI within the app on how you can improve your recovery and it uses your body and your statistics to give you the answers which once again tailors the actions that you have to take based on your own body and your own situation. And then I may go home and have some lunch and then I'll take note of, okay, did I eat vegetables for this meal? And then once I enter the journal the next morning, I will enter how many servings of vegetable I ate. And then that will show in my monthly performance assessment if that helps or worsens my recovery. Another thing you can do if you want to is head into the desktop version for more detailed analysis. And here it makes it very easy to see how you have improved over time. And I can go all the way back to 2021 and check how did I sleep then? How was my recovery back then? And has that improved three years into the future? So those are just a few ways of how you can use the Whoop. And if it's something that Whoop is, is that it is incredibly detailed. And there are so many features that I even haven't mentioned so far, like the strength training feature, the community feature, the alarm feature, and a bunch of more things. But I think you want to find something out for yourself once you get it. So how can the Whoop help you in your journey? Well, apart from the things that I've already mentioned, I think the best thing about the Whoop is that it allows me to see things that I couldn't otherwise be able to see. And because I can see and view those things right on the app on my phone, that makes it so that I actually know what I need to improve. So what can you learn from the Whoop and how can it help you in your journey? Now, I started to use it three years ago and three of the most important things that I've learned is, first of all, HRV. 
And HRV, which is heart rate variability, was something that I had never heard of before, before starting to use the WHOOP. And your heart rate variability is the most important metric to consider to see how well recovered your body is. Because what you want is that your variability between your heartbeats, you want that to be highly variable. Because that indicates that your central nervous system is well recovered. On the other hand, if the time between your heartbeats is not very variable, that indicates that your central nervous system has to recover. And this was something that I had never heard of before starting to use the WHOOP, but now three years later, I know how important your heart rate variability is when considering how well recovered your body is. The second most important thing that the WHOOP have helped me with is to be more accountable with my sleep and to understand my sleep. Because it measures everything from how often you wake up in the night, to how much restorative sleep you're getting. And restorative sleep is the key for a number of functions such as your recovery and you know your overall performance out on the field is based a lot on how well recovered you are from your sleep. And thirdly, it has given me highly individualized and tailored actions that I should take to improve my recovery in my specific situation. By using things like the journal feature, I've learned which habits and which actions help me out the most in my recovery. And if I were allowed to say only one thing that you should invest in in your career as a footballer, if you have the possibility to go for the whoop strap because it has provided me with so much value and knowledge of my own body and how my own body works that I've been able to use in my quest to improve in my career. If you use the personalized link in the description, you will be able to get your own whoop strap for free together with your first month of subscription so that you're able to try it out and see if you like it or not. But I'm absolutely guaranteed that you'll love the whoop and it will help you take so much better decisions on your overall recovery and your overall career. Kind of a different video this time, but I just wanted to tell you about the incredible value that I've managed to get out from the Whoop, and I just want the same for you, and that's why I'm telling you about it. But that's it for this time. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.